Hi, my name is Trevor Henderson with Cal Poly Pomona. We're here in Anaheim, California for day two of Educause 2013. We had some amazing conversations with our higher education IT leaders. So let's go take a look at the convention center and have a talk with some more today. here with Heather McCullough from uh, the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Heather, welcome to Educause 2013. How are you enjoying the conference so far? Well, thank you very much. Uh, this is one of my favorite conferences to come to. It has been um, already electrifying with the keynote that we had this morning, and I did some pre-conference workshops that were excellent as well. I'm enjoying it. It's a great place to network. I've not been in there. I've met some really smart people and learned some really cool things that I'm going to try out. It really is the combination, the constant dynamic of legal factors, market factors, individual user behaviors, as well as the technology that continues to change. Everything or, or most of what people will do will probably be connected to that wireless network. An uninterrupted service from one end of the campus to the next is kind of the goal of what we want to attain. And it's hard to really predict what's going to be the next big thing but we know that, that, that those things are going to be connected. So we have a, an innovation pipeline which goes from really future gazing, futurology through to near market developments that actually turn into services for uh, the universities and we will supply them or we will get other people to supply them and so on. So we're, we're talking about a pipeline of things that come from real blue skies thinking right down to real practical things at the end of the day. Going back to what Ken, Sir Ken Richardson was mentioning this morning, um, he, he said we're only at the beginning of this revolution. We're only right there, you know, the door is just now being cracked open. There's a concept that goes by a variety of different names. I'm going to use the term global university. It's not parachuting physical campuses in places around the world. It's bringing the technology that we have available to us, marrying courses, classes, professors, institutions together so that we can have interactive classrooms and courses with people all around the world. We've had some really useful discussions with, with Eddie Coles already um, about the sort of work we're doing on analytics and about measurements and about um, benchmarking institutions and so on. So I think we're doing work in the UK and I think that, that will also pass back through to uh, the US as well. So we're, we're already doing that two-way flow. It's not just a one-way flow, it is a two-way flow. Well, I, I think with, with all EDUCAUSE events, it, it, you know, it's great to, to share information. It's a great uh, opportunity to meet with our peers and really learn what others are doing. And, um, and, and every now and then we have the opportunity to, to kind of share what, what we're doing with others. So it's, it's, it's fabulous. So I'm really looking forward to uh, being mentored along this way too and meeting people who I can reach out after uh, this uh, uh, sessions and uh, the conference and have lifelong learning partners. So I'm really, I've heard that is the key to Edicos. So I am waiting for that. I'm looking forward to that part of it, to really network and connect with people. Well, that wraps up day two here at Educause 2013. It was a great day, lots of good insight from our attendees. As you can see, networking events are gonna be going on throughout the night, but if you're gonna be here tomorrow, check in with us. We'll be here asking more questions and getting more great insights. Um, so if you see us in the hall, say hi, and we'll see you tomorrow.